Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. I have a brand new video. This one is on how to do crochet Senegalese knee length twists. Did I say that right? Or Senegalese twist knee length crochet, whatever. You see what I did. Yeah, so the whole thing is crochet. You don't need to do corn rolls. You don't need to buy um, Senegalese twists that are up to your knees. We're gonna make them <laughs> the illusion of long twists. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is section off your hair. I'm gonna section them in big sections and then I'm gonna tie each section with the rubber band. I'm using very specific rubber bands. These do not break my hair, so um, I like them a lot better than your traditional rubber bands. I'm gonna leave them in the description box below. The next thing you want to do is attach the Senegalese twist crochet braids into each section. So for each section, I'm going to attach one crochet braid to that section. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to answer a few questions. The first one is how long does this take? It took me about four hours. Are these heavy? It feels like a mini massage, to be honest. It's not heavy at all. My ponytail that I did for my birthday, that one was way heavier than this. Okay, so after you crochet the crochet braid in, you're gonna have obviously the end of your hair to deal with. So all I'm gonna do is take the crochet needle, slide it through the twist. And hook my real hair onto the, um, the latch hook, like this. And then I'm gonna slide my real hair through the twist. And I'm gonna keep repeating until I get all the way to the end of my reel here, until all of that is inside the twist. Now just to ensure my hair is fully covered by the crochet twist, I'm going to pull on the twist and that's gonna ensure that this happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the first stage. This is about, um, I would say, waist length or mid-back. No, okay, so waist length. Now there's two ways that you can add length to this twist. You can just simply unravel one of the twists and then attach it to the end of the twist that is crocheted into your hair. So like this. This is not my favorite way. Okay, because this adds a lot of time and plus the twists aren't consistent. I twist my twists a certain way. Um, they pre-make the twist a certain way so it doesn't necessarily match. And besides, who wants to look like this all day? <laughs> Biting on your hair, twisting it. Your man come home, he's like, what? The? We, we're not trying to do this all day. So this is what I like to do. This is my favorite technique right here. All I'm gonna do is slide the needle through the original twist that's attached to my head. Then I'm going to take the twist that I want to add on, slide it through the original twist, and um, I'm going to just let you watch this because I, I can't keep talking. Y'all going to tell me I talk too much, so just watch. So now that you have that attached, we have to camouflage the end of the first twist. So we're going to do the same technique that we did to camouflage our real hair and that slide the end of the first twist into the second twist. 
You see that? That's the end of the first twist. And I am just um, crocheting it within the second twist. And then you pull on it a little bit to camouflage it some more and hide the ends. And look how secure it is. Look, I'm actually tugging on it and it's not going anywhere. And that's it. And just to secure it some more, I like to attach jewelry onto those demarcation lines just to make sure it really doesn't go anywhere. And that's all I did. So now I'm applying my hair growth oil to my scalp. I do this for all my protective styles. I mean all, my wigs, my, my braids, my twists, my, my buns, my, my wash and goes, just everything. This has saved my hair from mild alopecia and it has even accelerated my hair growth. So, you know. Oh, by the way, this is four week old hair. Um, I just forgot to record this portion of the video when I actually first did the hair, I'm recording it now, so. This is the final look. Now I'm gonna add some hair jewelry. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. I left all the information to this hair in the description box below, along with what rubber bands I use and also my hair growth oil. Definitely check that out because I will be launching soon and I'm gonna be taking pre-orders. I'm not making that many units for the first batch, so order, 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 because I don't want you getting at me saying, oh, well, I signed up and everything is sold out. I don't have a large quantity. I only made 3,600 and over 18,000 people signed up, okay? So again, once you get that email, make sure you put in your order. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my dope ass birthday hairdo that my stylist slayed for me, hunty. My hair was so slick back, so frozen in place. I mean, Jack Frost frozen. This dude created a past the booty ponytail and I gave him like a 14 inch bundle to work with. <laughs> you gotta see it to believe it. Check it out right here. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.